Uh, hello, good afternoon viewers. Welcome to another edition of Mars Tutorial. In this chapter, we are going to be talking about simultaneous linear equations. Uh, in this chapter, again, we are going to consider the four major uh, methods used to solve simultaneous linear equation, which are the uh, elimination method, uh, the substitution method, the graphical uh, method, and lastly, using matrices. But in this video, we are only going to center our discussion on based on the elimination method. If you are new here, kindly subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon so that you won't miss anything. So first, we are given we are going to find the value of x and y, which will satisfy each of these equations. Let's begin solution. Let us call this equation number one and call this equation number two. In elimination method, you are expected to make the coefficient of one of these variables the same. You either make the coefficient of x in equation one and equation two to be the same, or you make the coefficient of y in equation one and equation two to be the same. So for this, we are going to eliminate y by making equation 1 and equation 2 both having the coefficient y the same if i multiply equation 2 by 2 definitely i am going to have 2y in equation 2 which correspond to uh, 2y in equation 1 so each term is going to be multiplied by 2 the first term here is 4 times 2 is going to give us 8x the second term is negative y times 2 is going to give us negative 2y and this is equal to 20 times 2 which is equal to 40. Now we bring equation 1 back without changing any value there because what we are after is to have the same coefficient of y. So here we have 3x plus 2y this is equal to 26. Now we want to eliminate y, so because 2y here is negative while the other 2y here is positive. So if you add them together, you are going to get 0. So we add equation 1, equation 1 by equation 2. So this plus this is going to give us 66. This is equal to, if you add this one together, you are going to get 0. Then you add x x plus 3x and this will give us 11x. Now we need to divide each side by 11. Divide each side by 11 so that we have the value of x. So now x is equal to 66 divided by 11 which will give you 6. Now we have found the value of x to be equal to 6. Now we need to find the value of y by substituting the value of x in either equation 1 or equation 2. In equation 1 we have but the value of x is now equal to 6. So we substitute the value of x to be equal to 6. So we have 3 multiplied by 6 plus 2y and this is equal to 26. This time this is 18 plus 2y and this is equal to 26. Now subtract 18 from both sides. Minus 18, minus 18. Uh, 18 minus 18, 0, so we have 2y on the left hand side. And 26 minus 18 is equal to 8. If you divide both sides by 2, by 2, you end up having the value of y to be equals to 4. So now the values of x and y are x is equal to 6, y, y is equal to 4. Now let's test these values into the main equation. When x is 6, we are going to have 6 times 3, which is 18. And if y is equal to 4, we are going to have 8. So 18 plus 8 is definitely going to give us 26. 
And if you do the same thing to equation number two, when x is equal to six, we are going to have four times six, which is equal to 24. And when y is equal to four, you are going to subtract four. And 24 minus four is equal to 20. Hence, the values of x and y are six and four, respectively. Thank you for watching.